Hello and welcome to today's episode of Critical Minds. And on this program, we talk about critical things that are happening in the country and around the world. But today we are focusing majorly on Nigeria. And the topic for today is democracy and the African culture. I know when you hear the word democracy, what comes to mind? You know, we, we, we often hear government of the people, for the people and by the people, right? But I wouldn't be doing this alone. I have with me in the studio, Mr. Jude Ose. He is the uh, he is a democracy and uh, democracy trade and development advocate. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So Mr. Jude Ose is the founder of Youth Initiative for Progressive. That's YIP Africa, YIP Africa, an advocacy group for democracy, development, and trade. And also he is. Uh, consolidating to ensure that public policy design, implementation, and financing are people-centered, driving industries, innovation, and infrastructure for nation building. What an impressive, impressive, <laughs> impressive bio data. So welcome, welcome, on to, welcome once again on set. Thank you. So Mr. Jude, Tell us um, very, very quickly, very briefly, actually. Tell us, uh, tell me about uh, youth, the Youth Initiative for Progress, YIP Africa. So um, again, thank you, um, like you rightly said. So Youth Initiative for Progress is an advocacy group for democracy, development, and trade. So we promote increased youth participation in politics and to ensure that um, public policy design are formulated for nation building as much as possible we were one of those um, NGOs that supported other civil society groups led by Yaga Africa that protested and led that protested for the inclusion of young people in governance that led to the passing of the Not Too Young to Run Bill. Mm. And right now in Nigeria, as a young person, you can now run for office uh, okay. because they always say that the youth are the future. But for how long? <laughs> the future is now. <laughs> right, right, because I was I was going to take you up there when you said the youth are the future because the last time we had something like this, which was in 2020 or 2020, thereabouts, uh, which was the NSAS protests right. in October, I, 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 I believe it was a revolution that was supposed to start something. And after that, what we saw at the just concluded elections was a totally different thing because what we ordered so to say, wasn't what we got. So what can you say about the youth, the not too young to rule bill that was passed vis-a-vis -vis what we have currently in today's um, uh, economy? Polity. Um, so this is the difference. NSAS came with a lot of backlash okay. and a lot of um, um, solidarity from young people. But at the same time, there were those who are power brokers who were offended by the audacity or audaciousness of that mm -hmm. youth energy, right? True. And there was a backlash. Um, the f events running to the election, you know, also proved that young people are tired and were pretty much very in tune with the progressive nature of Nigeria. And they all came out in mass, yeah. actually, yes. to cast yeah. their votes. But by the time you are mirroring the outcomes mm. versus the election, there's a lot of factors that had played out. Okay. And depending on the lens in which you're using to see it or view it, you can come to a very concrete conclusion as to how factors have played out to lead to where we currently are today mm -hmm. and how the politics are currently affecting everyone today. Okay, so, so are you currently saying that the youth, uh, the not too young to rule bill that was passed and the youth participation in the just completed elections was just, um, will I say, a facade? No, it's not. Um, so there are a lot of young people, for example, who actually won and got into elected offices. Okay. Right? Okay. And um, especially within the House of Assembly, um, harm oh, of government at yes. state level, and House of Rep, you know. And um, I remember that the Ekpe region of Lagos, you know, lost an incumbent um, rep to a young person. I mean, Mr. Tadios is, is pretty much young. <laughs> <laughs> if you call that young. <laughs> okay. You know, so, I mean, if you see a senator at 50, tells you he's young at heart. Mm. So then it begs the definition of what a young what person young is. young actually is. But yeah, um, we saw a lot more people, for example, in appointed positions, 
um, the bill beam light into the youth demographics where you know leaders are beginning to view and to um, shop for for example the minister for youth the yeah. first is a young lady mm. um, a couple of other M leaders or directors of mdas are actually which means ministries departments, departments and agencies, and agencies yeah. they are young people and these people are, these guys are coming in with a lot of energy that i think would revolutionize those sectors that they have been placed <laughs> you know i i was actually I was actually moved when I saw uh, Vivo Roads uh, contest for uh, I think Lagos State. Yes. And you know, he, it it was it was a spark that we could have we could have actually pursued. But why do you think such um, such person didn't get the the seat? Is it as a result of Godfatherism? Is it as a result of um, um, you know the backbone that? so to speak, is already in the kind of government or governance systems that we practice? Okay, so th that question is very dicey because there are a lot of factors that played <laughs> out <laughs> okay. into um, the 2023 gubernatorial election Elections. of Lagos State. Mm. Lagos is, a, is a, it's one of the states in Nigeria that you, you dare not lose, mm. and especially when it comes to the ruling party. And I mean the APC. The APC could not afford mm. to lose. Mm. <laughs> when you <laughs> say could not afford, <laughs> I'm going to take you up there. But just just finish the point so that we could we could know what. So so, Vivo mm. was running under LP. Yes. You know, and um, he he's young. Very. A lot of people, young people, were literally canvassing for Vivo. And not just because he's young, he's also qualified. I've seen a lot of his policies, and the guy's got a lot to offer when it of comes course. to Lagos State. Of course. But at the same time, his affiliation to Labour Party and its principal, which mm. in this case, Peter B, came with a certain wave and light that is yearning, that Nigerians have been yearning for. And we saw that for these two, you know, giant Indian rights to come together, it's going to have a very good impact when it comes to governance, governance in Lagos State. But again, Lagos State has a hold from a lot of trajectories. Mm. You can see the godfathers who have held on to Lagos State. There's a lot of stakeholders involved. These people have accesses. These people control different assets. Assets not in business, assets in electoral capital. These True. people control different parts of Lagos and they are all in tune. So we, by we, I mean the young, the young people ones, yeah. who are pro-LP seem to be like an outlier. <laughs> you understand? So a lot of things happened, a lot of factors, which includes even the judiciary. These days, we no longer plan for just elections. Okay. We now plan for post elections. Post -elections. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that you should get there, so we, we, we could we could come to a, a meeting point and say that because it's not, it's not just pre elections that we plan for. It's not just the elections no. now because the 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 aftermath of each elections is what uh, or are what people actually look out for from the 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 the, um, the party that is actually or that would now actually come to sit. All right, with all of this said, um, we hope that, um, you know, the youths um, would actually get more opportunities and more uh, more support to actually run in the next or in the fourth coming election. Because we look forward to having more youth engagement, more youths in these uh, key places in the country. So thank you very much for staying with us. This is Critical Minds. Still, we come your way, same time, same station. Have a wonderful day.